choice When somebody needs you You can't turn away You're their only lifeline Just a hero A bullet for hire Working alone Always a voice A cry in the darkness An echo of pain That's been long forgotten But it haunts me My destiny To be alone There's a time when you see Life for what it's gotta be You should know they'll destroy Call to me to keep searching Walk alone二零一九年冬季，路易斯安那州边陲的勒卡雷小镇，有人在克拉克森冷冻食品仓库中发现了一具被冻在冰块中且早已被大卸八块的女尸——丽丝·克拉克森。而她的尸体上一次被发现还是在十四年之前，也就是二零零五年的夏天。就在那年的夏天，弗朗西斯·约克·摩根探员在度假期间顺便赶去调查，一个拥有神力的巫毒祭司不断给予他各种神谕。于是，在调查事物之后，约克发现原本应该被保存在冷冻仓库的丽丝尸体，人间蒸发了。但他本人依旧凭借着超现实能力揭发了凶手的真实身份，竟然是死者丽丝的母亲加里娜·克拉克森。但是，一切遭遇都显示出案件远没有那么简单，因为约克预感到这个勒卡雷小镇就是他之前一直追踪调查的神秘违禁品“圣胭脂”的发源地。同时，他也深陷小镇地头蛇克拉克森家族的秘密中。自那之后，约克偶遇了一位神秘女子。经过追踪调查，才得知这个被称为海莲娜·道曼的女人是一位跨性别人士，其过去的身份是克拉克森家族的长子莱纳德·克拉克森。整个小镇的献祭谋杀事件和红色违禁品似乎都是他一手酿造的，只为净化家族的血脉，利用红色种子的力量统治小镇。然而，在被约克探员击败之后，他杀死了自己的亲生父亲，随后引爆炸弹自杀。约克探员苏醒后，得知小镇的警长梅尔文突然失踪了，于是便将其女儿帕特里夏带在身边照顾。一切都显示，这个小镇背后的秘密远比他想象的要多。在幻觉中，扎克听到了婴儿的哭声，只见一处浴缸出现在不远处。时间再次来到了二零一九年，波士顿的公寓中。阿利亚·戴维斯探员依然在审讯着身患恶疾的弗朗西斯·扎克·摩根。虽然已经基本确认了红色违禁品的粉末是 R 教授海莲娜·道曼研制出来的，但依然有说不通的地方，比如为何在那之后，扎克本人依旧留在了勒卡雷小镇。根据他的说法，在那之后，他想要调查出生育女神的真实身份。显然，小镇上这两起献祭事件都是围绕着这个生育女神展开的。就在两个人对峙的时候，从窗外传来了一阵婴儿的哭声。只见扎克捂着脑袋，痛苦不已。经过阿利亚的询问，扎克终于道出一段诡异的记忆：十几年前，当他作为 FBI 探员第一次乘坐飞机的时候，那架飞机在高空遭遇了气流，导致颠簸不已。就在扎克一行人的附近，坐着一位抱着婴儿的女人，脸上透露出惊恐的表情。此时，婴儿开始嚎啕大哭，整个飞机中都回荡着哭声。前边的乘客纷纷回头怒视。扎克本人向那位年轻的女人挥手，想要她安抚好孩子。但一切都是徒劳
。随着人们愈发焦虑，那婴儿的哭声就越大。直到飞机平稳地降落到目的地后，那婴儿才停止了哭泣。乘客们纷纷看向那女子，可她却出乎意料地表示，上飞机后这孩子便出现在自己的腿上，自己不知道这是谁的孩子。扎克等人让女人留在原位，正准备展开调查询问时，突然发现那个婴儿消失了。由于没有人知道那个孩子的来历，事情便不了了之。自那之后，每当听到婴儿的哭声，他便头痛难忍。但阿里亚探员认为扎克只是在转移话题。不久后，他突然站起来，想要寻找什么，但随即身体不知摔倒在地，被他不经意碰到的咖啡洒在地毯上，竟然构成了蜻蜓的痕迹，似乎咖啡又带来了某种启示。Some odd fellow was following her around, stalking her like that poor girl Lace. She was a druggie, and she was into the really bad stuff. The red soul has the power to amplify the unique characteristics we all possess, mentally and physically. That's why I created the Holy Red Powder. 随后，扎克以服用药物为由，短暂的离开了客厅。于是，阿里亚与西蒙展开了交谈。阿里亚不经意的提到了自己的童年。同样，在2005年，他因为卡特里娜飓风失去了除弟弟以外的全部家人。在避难所中，偶然认识了一位酷爱尼采的大学教授。受其影响，也开始崇拜起了尼采。长大后变成了 FBI 探员，但其弟弟却沉迷于圣烟之粉末，这也是他本人对于此案无比专注的原因。相比于其他的同龄人，阿里亚的爱好似乎略显独特。他最喜欢的音乐人不是阿里安娜·格兰德、泰勒·斯威夫特，亦或是德雷克，而是老牌的英伦摇滚乐队平克·弗洛伊德。此时，西蒙突然问起了一个奇怪的问题。Let me get one thing straight. You started this investigation based on an anonymous tip, right? What kind of a tip was it? Phone or mail? What does that matter at this point? It was sent in an envelope, postmarked December 28th, sent out from Louisiana. What did it have inside? A postcard with a dragonfly on it, a wrapped sample of Saint Rouge, and a note. What did it say? Investigate the Clarksons. F K. That's it. Yes, that's it. Who's F.K.? Anonymous tip, remember? It's obviously just a fake name. Did you confirm that? Of course I did. Louisiana has a population of 4.5 million. The FBI database has a list of 6,682 individuals whose initials are F.K. One out of every six individuals is a child under the age of 14, born after 2005. The remaining 5,500 people include those whose initials changed after they married, or incarcerated individuals. After subtracting those, I was left with 3,800. That's when I stopped searching for F.K. and I decided to change up my approach. It isn't important where the tip came from. All that matters is solving the case. Alia 愈发怀疑是弗朗西斯扎克摩根本人在不久前偷偷回到了勒卡雷小镇，并且绑架了已经长大成人的帕特里夏。而且他很有可能被关在这间卧室中。此时，距离扎克离开已经许久，阿里亚怀疑自己的推测应验了，于是准备潜入房间。就在他推门而入后，才发现里边的场景出乎想象：床上堆着无数被拆分成数块的假人模型，墙上贴着无数张勒卡雷和雨林镇案件的相关人员照片。Lee Clarkson, where's Patricia? That's our altar. What are you doing? 时间终于回到了2005年的夏天，勒卡雷小镇中，弗朗西斯·约克·摩根在河岸边调查时，发现了他生涯中搜集到的第一颗红色种子
<laughs> hey, Agent York. <sighs> You're Lise Clarkson. What's wrong? You're acting weird. Sorry, Patty, I'm fine now. More importantly, do these red seeds come from some kind of plant that grows around this area? I don't know. What do I look like, a botanist? This isn't your average backwoods town. The Clarkson's ego and control has been piercing the town's heart like a massive dinosaur bone. But over this past century, time has been busy eroding the beast's power from within. And now, the very thing that once fortified this town is polluting it with putrid gas and rotten marrow. Zack, this is the point where it all collapses. Yoker 把注意力放在了祭坛之上。这上边布满了烧焦的痕迹，附近散落着红色的种子，有无数的脚印出现于此。显然是海莲娜·道曼将丽丝的尸体搬运来的此处，但杀害丽丝母亲贾里娜·克拉克森的凶手依旧不得而知。似乎这个祭坛是专门放在这里，为了河道中某一艘船上的人亲眼所见。哎 ，FBI，What the hell are you doing back here？ You already solved the case, yeah？ So、gone, just out of town. Why do you think I solved the case? Shoot! Exactly how stupid are you, FBI? This is Luke Carre, remember? Every feller in town already knows that Professor Orr's the one behind all this shit. Hey Chuck, can you see the altar from there? I'd see the whole damn thing, along with your stupid ass standing there, trying to act all smart and shit. You told me that the poacher's boat you were chasing disappeared around this area, correct? Yeah, that's what I said. All right. What? You forget already? If you're just gonna waste our tax dollars out here. Least you can do is catch them goddamn poachers. Fucking FBI, go and make yourself useful for once in your damn life. Chuck, we don't chase down fishing boats, unless it's a terrorist boat that plans to overthrow our government. That is. Huh? Then stop acting all leery, like I ain't being truthful or whatever. I'm busy too, you know. So long, FBI. Zack, he just taught us what the true purpose of this altar is. It was built here so that the ritual could be watched from a boat in the bayou. What do you mean? They could have just walked out here. There's no reason why they had to watch it from a boat. <laughs> the goddess of fertility, a fine name indeed. So much blood has been shed, yet you remain. In this town, surely you know why. Of course I do, Hoongan. My work here isn't finished yet. You know I could really use one of your oracles right now. <laughs> You're more fun than I thought. Here's the oracle you ask for. Listen with your heart. Speak to the seventeen comrades who saw the birth of New Orleans. Feel the holy Allah. The giant lady's finger points down toward your goal. The entrance to the forbidden. Poetic and graceful as ever, Hoongan. <laughs> 在这几则新的神谕中，第一条，十七个目睹了先奥良历史的老前辈，也许象征着这个地区早期的发展史。一七一八年，法国人建立了先奥良殖民地，也许当时只有十七个见证者。而在勒凯雷小镇的中央，恰好有一条大街，名为橡树街。最老的橡树似乎有着三百余年的历史。于是，约克决定和帕特里夏一同去调查古老的橡树。What? What? Is there something on my face? Listen carefully, Patricia. 
As my skilled assistant, I trust you a great deal. So I want you to answer me honestly. Answer what? Do you have any idea where Melvin might have gone? No. He didn't seem to be acting or talking differently than usual? No. I don't think so. Okay. I believe your words. Zach, we have a lot of work to do. It feels like we're finally approaching the climax here. Zach, do you sense that? These trees have watched over this land for the past 300 years. Long before the Clarksons built up their town, these trees were here. If they could speak, I wonder what they'd have to say about this case. Has there always been a different number of trees on each side? Yeah. I heard that by the time our town came along, there were only 17 left. A general from the South might have cut one down during the Civil War. Intriguing, Patty. Why did he cut one down? I don't know. Folks say he planted a red tree in its place. I don't know if that's true or not, though. Zack, the shape of these seeds. They look just like the ones we saw at Lisa's altar. Patty, it appears that legend about the red tree wasn't a total lie. The first tree is withered and gone, but the shells from its seeds remain. Perhaps that red tree left some descendants somewhere else. Is this the red tree that General planted? No way! This is a maple tree! A maple tree? Then it shouldn't be red at this time of year. You're right. That's strange. A long time ago, my mama and daddy used to come here together a lot. They told me they used to go on dates here, back before I was born. Mama would make sandwiches, then they'd come here and eat them together. My mama was really pretty, you know. When I was a kid, I believed she was a real goddess. Under the boughs of a legendary tree that stayed red all year long, a small miracle was born. One man managed to win the heart of the most beautiful girl in the world. And they call him Melvin Woods. Looks like it's time to move on. What a fantastic guide we managed to find. He actually waited for us to finish talking before taking us on to the next spot. Hey, Patty. How would you rate this creation? Not bad, I reckon. They made good use of its natural form while also pulling out the soul from within. The artificial color also looks pretty. You don't usually see this level of harmony. Something unnatural always ends up getting left behind. Zach, did you catch all that? She sounded just like the curator of an art gallery in New York. I think we may have just uncovered a new side of her. But unfortunately, I can't see anything artistic about it. Honestly, it looks insane to me. That's all I get from it. And there's no way that this is a descendant of the tree that the general planted. Zach, now this is interesting. It looks like a tree that you could find anywhere. Yet, it's also unlike any other, completely alien. And look how it's weaved its way into the landscape. Almost like cancer cells invading a human body. You might not even notice it unless you're focused on finding it. And this feeling. As I gaze upon this tree, I can feel evil emotions rising out from within me. Why on earth did that southern general bring this tree into this town?
I promise to protect you from all the evil in our world. Do not touch this tree. Got that, Patty? Got it, Agent York. We successfully spoke with the 17 comrades. I feel like they showed us a side of nature that transcends the realms of human knowledge. Next up is the Holy Allah. According to the Oracle, the Holy Allah needs to be filled. We may be due for another childish puzzle soon, Zack. But that's okay. After all, we came all the way out here to the boondocks. Why not enjoy playing by their rules for a bit? 不久之后，两个人来到了小镇的水塔下方。这里似乎便是神域中需要被填满的地方。This thing sure looks tall when you look at it up close. But why do they gotta build it up so high anyway? The height gives them the necessary pressure to pump the water out. Also. Building it in a spot where anyone could easily access it would only create more problems. Problems? In a certain Missouri town, they built the water tower low enough that a person could easily climb up to it, and that's exactly where a mass murderer decided to hide the bodies of all his victims. The water tower was so low to the ground that he could even climb up to it while carrying a dead body on his back. Incidentally, they ended up finding a total of 43 bodies in there. But the part that truly shocked Zack and I wasn't the number of bodies, Patty. What? It was the fact that over the six months from the first murder to when the case was solved, that whole time, the townspeople had been drinking the water. Agent York, look! I think we can climb up from there. Let's go. But Patty, I was just getting to the good part. So this is our town. Looking down on it from here, it's hard to imagine any bad stuff ever happened at all. Listen carefully, Patricia. You just leave Melvin to me. I promise I'll take care of things. You're grown up. You're more of an adult than anyone else in this town. I guarantee it. But that doesn't mean you have to suffer through everything without ever saying a word about it. Just remember that, okay? Zack, it looks like the Holy Allah hasn't been sucking up water properly. No wonder the shower in our hotel room felt so weak. Patty, who manages this water tower? This is Lucare. You should know the answer to that by now. The Clarksons. Judging from their current situation, I don't think they'll be able to give us a timely response. Yeah. Do you know where the water comes from? Probably Isaac Lake. That settles it. Let's fill the Holy Allah. And solve this problem ourselves. I knew you were gonna say that, Agent York. 两人来到了埃萨克湖，发现这里到处都是野生鳄鱼，想要抵达水利设备难上加难。Isaac Lake. That's the name of the former head of the Clarkson family. When he retired, they built this lake to commemorate his career. That's why it's called Isaac Lake. They wanted people to remember the power of the Clarkson family every time they used their water, huh? You sure don't miss a beat. The water level's higher than I expected. They probably haven't been out here to check on it since Lise was murdered. I bet that's where the water gets sucked up into the water tower. Mr. Alligator, never thought I'd have to use you to fight a real alligator. Just what does that skeletal gentleman have in mind for us, Zack?
Open the door, Patty. <laughs> now, Patty. Okay, Zach, let's head back to the Holy Allah. We need to confirm with our own eyes that we've completed the skeletal gentleman's oracle. Zach, the Holy Allah is filling up. Looks like we'll be able to take a warm, invigorating shower tonight. Patty, are you okay? Um, no. Not really. Worried about your parents? Well, of course I am. My mom is sick, you know. And she got even worse starting about a year ago. She used to be so beautiful, but now she looks like a completely different person. She can't even get up out of her own bed no more. I'm sorry to hear that. I already hurt you once in the past, and now it looks like I've gone and done it again. No, I know Mama's illness ain't your fault, Agent York. It's more about Daddy. He... He what? Nothing. Just forget it. <sighs> hey! Y'all get down from there, right now! I said get down here, goddammit! Hmm. The heir to the Clarkson legacy has come for us, Zack. And he doesn't sound very composed. I guess you really do want to throw down with the Clarkson! Huh? Get out of here! <sighs> I never gave you permission. Yeah, you think you can just walk all over us, huh? Hey! You hear me? Climb down here right now! I could arrest you for drunk driving, but I simply haven't got the time. What? What did you say? Ever since you got here, my whole family... Now they're all dead. You're Satan. You came here to destroy the Clarksons. You destroyed them. Satan. Satan? Not quite, Daniel. I'm just an agent carrying out a mission in accordance with federal law. On the contrary. I came to put a stop to all these problems. You might even consider thanking me for it. Federal law. Mission accordance. <laughs> Did you hear that? wants me to thank him. <laughs> I, I lost everything. My treasure. <laughs> At least my old baby girl. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. You reap what you sow. God damn it. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, you're the new heir to the Clarkson legacy. You could rebuild their empire or resign it to the ravages of time. Do whatever you like. But you'll no longer be able to borrow a certain someone's power and march around like you own this town. You need to accept that and prepare to survive. <sighs> Zack, it's no use. The skeletal gentleman is a strict one, that's for sure. We're going to have to figure out what the giant lady's finger is if we want to continue on with this oracle. Lady's finger. Lady's finger. I'm at a loss, Zack. 
The only thing that comes to mind is a certain lady in glasses who displayed her middle finger to a truck driver. The student driver who was driving the car that Leslie Nielsen jumped into in order to chase down a criminal. 1988, directed by David Zucker, The Naked Gun. That car chase was terrific. It felt like we were watching one of our own car chases from the real world. That director must have gotten some advice from actual police officers. Hey, Agent York, can I say something? If you're looking for ladies' fingers, you know that's another name for okra, right? Another name for okra? Yeah, okra's pretty common here in Louisiana, so most people know about its other name. Huh. Okra. My talented assistant strikes again. You solved the oracle instead of me. Let's hurry over to the okra farm at once, then. And find the biggest piece of okra while we're at it. Hey, Agent York. The key word is giant, so it must be rather large. I'll bet it looks positively grotesque, Zack. And just imagine the stickiness. Oof. I think I'll refrain from taking a bite. Hey, Agent York! Our town doesn't have an okra farm. No? Okra farm? Relax. Just follow me. I reckon I know where we're supposed to go. In Pat Lee's leadership, York came to the small town. 发现了那个之前不曾留意过的角落。This is the giant lady's finger, Okra Boy. He's kind of like the town mascot. Okra Boy, you're right. No matter how you look at him, he really is a giant lady's finger. But Patty, there's no okra farm in this town, is there? That's right. Then why did they choose okra for the town mascot? Good question. He's been here for as long as I can remember. Daddy said he remembers Okra Boy being around when he was a kid too. The plot thickens. Hmm. Zach, doesn't it look like he's pointing at something? Let's follow that white glove. Patty. That's it. So this used to be the control device for the drawbridge, but it looks like its insides have been replaced with something else. Oh yeah, I remember Daddy telling me about this. This drawbridge hasn't been used for decades now, so the control room doesn't work, and the power's been disconnected. There's an H on the top, bottom. And left sides of the leftmost panel. Patty, trial and error won't get us anywhere. There are twenty-six letters in the alphabet, which makes for seventeen thousand five hundred seventy-six different combinations if we use three of them. Let's try something more efficient. I know that. I was just fiddling with it. So, what do you want to try, Agent York? 根据线索的分析，约克很快解锁了设备。You can't touch that. Smarty pants scientist said no. Avery Smith. Draw bridge don't work no more. The machine's junk. Yup. <laughs> You're right, Avery. But don't worry. I got permission to touch it. <sighs> permission, Agent York, you got permission. That's right. Permission from the President of the United States. The President? Oh, he's a smarty pants. <laughs> okay. I didn't see nothing. <laughs> yup. <laughs> Won't tell no one neither. <sighs> hey, Agent York, are you really going in there? Yes, I have to, for the sake of the investigation. 
I'm getting kind of scared. That's a rare word to hear coming from your mouth, Patty. I don't see much in there aside from some overgrown weeds, do you? No, that's not it. I'm not scared of the weeds. I'm scared of what you'll find, Agent York. You don't need to worry, Patty. You're my precious assistant, remember? I promise I'll protect you, no matter what happens. Patty, the truth is, when I first saw Okra Boy, I remembered something horrific. The most evil monster I've ever seen, in fact. A monster? Oh, yes. A demon incarnate who plunged New York City into mortal fear. The Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. Marshmallow? Ghostbusters, 1984, directed by Ivan Reitman. Now that's a film that was filled to the brim with bona fide horror. A true masterpiece that boasted an honest depiction of just how frightening a real ghost would be. Even if you watched it now, I'm sure it would still chill you to the bone. First night I watched it, I was too afraid to go to the bathroom alone. So I made Zack come with me. The door. <音>此时，天空突然变成了血红色，似乎像是某种熟悉的幻觉。一些新的怪物出现，在解决他们之后，约克和帕里夏躲进了其中的一个小木屋。这里竟然是一个实验室。A research log. No, it looks more like a journal. Look, Zack, this belonged to Lena Doman. Hmm, a professor to the very end. This book is filled with all sorts of detailed notes. She studied abroad during school, most likely in order to get as far away from her father's prejudice as possible. Abroad, she studied chemistry and fire dynamics, then cultivated the groundwork for Saint Rouge. Huh. If what's written in this journal is to be believed, Saint Rouge is a naturally derived substance. That must mean it's something akin to ayahuasca, the hallucinogen found in the Amazon region. But Saint Rouge wasn't actually produced here. It appears that a special environment is necessary to summon the Red Demon. It says that when Lena was still known as Lenny, she once fell in love with a woman. She fell in love with her older sister. That matches up with what PJ mentioned just before he died. And apparently, they had a daughter. The Clarkson's family tree is far more complicated than I could have imagined. You can say that again. And here it says that the Clarkson's older daughter later fell in love with someone in town and got married. Then she must still be somewhere in this town. Hey, Patty, did you know about all this? Uh, I don't know. This entry is from right after she became Lena. Zack, what could this mean? A salesman passing through town gave me an epiphany that changed my life. She didn't create Saint Rouge until after she met this person. And from that point onward, she started fanatically worshipping someone. She also ceases to mention anything more about her older sister. And the word goddess of fertility starts appearing everywhere. The final entry, written just before she headed to the Clarkson's house. No one can stop my plan. Not even me. My only worry now is P. I only pray the fool king can stop him. Zack, it looks like we've uncovered yet another new character. Who's the fool king? This is starting to read like a badly written tragedy. And P. It appears that Lena's worried about whether or not the Fool King will be able to stop our investigation and successfully murder this P character. P. Philip? Or Professor? No. It can't be. Oh. Whew. Oh. 
Oh. Hi there, Hoondan. Long time no see. Hmm. This is definitely your simplest oracle by far. <laughs> Patty. Now it all makes sense. Zack, we need to hurry back to the hotel and put all this in order. So Xiang Hao the Yuaker, Hudala Jodan Fangro. 重新开始整理线索，证据表明 P.J. 克拉克森的大女儿正是帕特里夏的母亲坎迪，而帕特里夏的亲生父亲也正是转性前的莱纳德·克拉克森，也就是 R 教授本人。而坎迪所患的病很可能和红色的粉末有关联。目前可以断定，警长梅尔文是案件中重大的嫌疑人。随着帕特里夏的失踪，现在约克必须要尽快找到他。为了得到启示，约克来到了餐厅中。Oh my lord, you sure look pooped, honey. Hello, Alexis. Yes, someone did quite the number on me. Must have given you one heck of a shiner. Well, let me get you some coffee so you can relax, honey. Yes, that's it, Alexis. Just what I was waiting for. Would it be possible to get an especially pungent cup, smoldering with all the heat of the southern sun? Coming right up. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, look. <laughs> Patty. No, Melvin. No. Oh my lord, what are you trying to do? Wake the dead? What's wrong, honey? Where is this boathouse located? Oh my lord, what's going on with you? Your poor voice is positively trembling. Just tell me, where is this boathouse located? Uh, there's lots of boathouses around these parts, honey. Your guess is as good as mine. Well then, can you at least tell me when this photo was taken? Looks to me like it was taken during the Clarks and Campbell wedding party when PJ married his ex-wife Audrey. There was a building this tall in town back then. Oh, you know what? That must be the cold storage warehouse. That big billboard on the roof is the Clarksons. See? I bet you'd be able to get a great view of all the boat houses in the swamp from up there. Thank you. That's all the info I need. Would you mind if I borrowed this? Shoot, of course not, honey. <laughs> Thanks for your help, and keep the change. <gasps> oh my lord! It's you. Hmm. I, I reckon I owe you an apology for how I was acting before. I think I get what you meant now. You'll no longer be able to borrow a certain someone's power. Now well, those words woke me up. I need to get myself together, or I'll sink. And you saved me. <laughs> so, uh, thanks. Now this is a surprise, Zach. Can a human being really turn themselves around this quickly? Hey, come on, don't say that. I was drunk, you know. I'd like to get your permission to climb up to the roof, right up to that hideous sign there. Oh, is that all? Well, go on ahead. I know you're a genius agent. If you need to go up there, then by all means. Which one is it, Zach?
Patricia must be in the boathouse we saw in that photograph. Along with Melvin and Candy, the goddess of fertility. What I saw at Alexis's restaurant. Not only was my mind still reeling, but the oracle was also rather vague. But so what, Zach? We just need to find the same boathouse that we saw in that picture. There's got to be another singularity inside it. Zach, that's the boathouse. It's right where the photograph was taken. But I have no idea how we're supposed to reach it. Zach? It looks like we have no choice but to head back to the starting line. Let's go and see the one who fired the pistol at heaven. He should be able to transport us straight to that boathouse. Remember, his love for justice is so strong that he chased a poacher's boat all the way up the bayou. I'm sure he'll be happy to help us. What's this? Who left this message for her? Zach, you know what? I forgot all about our ten-foot giant. We still have a lot of work left to do in this town. Would you mind raising your arms up high like this for me? Raise my arms? Like this? <clears throat> Thank you. That's perfect. It appears that even with your height, you'd have a tough time reaching a spot up that high. I love Lise. Yup. <laughs> Lise got cold. Lise turned white. 为了去往船坞的位置，约克决定求助于养殖户查克，但是这位老铁非常的倔强，坚决不配合。约克不经意间发现他对于打水漂非常的痴迷，于是开始了彩虹屁，想以拜师打水漂为由，疯狂的暴夸他一番。查克显然上钩了，一阵优越感爆棚之后，决定送约克前往那里。Just give me a holler if you need me to come get you. I do always trust a good skipper from the bottom of my heart. Zach, a deadly premonition. How do you feel about this one? Honestly, I'm torn. I know the truth that awaits us here isn't one we want to accept, but we have to keep marching ahead. 在抵达之后，天空再次变成了血红色，附近的灌木丛如同迷宫一般。浪费了许久时间，约克终于找到了那间船屋。进入之后，立刻被里边的场景惊到了。Love you. I'll do anything for you. I'll make your wish come true. You stand before the goddess. Mind your manners. Sorry, but I don't worship that deity. You always were a rude one. Patty, everything's all right now. Just come over to me. She can't hear you, York. Patricia's already in a trance. Outside voices can't reach her. You didn't, Saint Rouge. Now, what kind of fool do you take me for? She's the consecrated virgin, and virgins need to be pure. She won't be able to serve the goddess if she gets all corrupted. Now, will she? And besides, she's got a resistance to the stuff. Might be due to the blood she inherited from her parents, or might be Saint Rouge was designed that way on purpose. Not that it matters now, 'cause she's about to die.
I wouldn't do that if I were you, York. Or did you forget who gave you Mr. Alligator to begin with? You think I'd hand you a weapon without any sort of safeguard in it? This is straight out of a bad sea movie, Melvin. Call it what you want, York. But I'm the main character here, and you already played your part. Now that Candy's become the goddess, I will take her once more and claim my seat as the king who rules this town. Yes, I will be the one who reveals the Clarkson's legacy! Power isn't important to you, Melvin. All you care about is your loving family, remember? The man who won the heart of the most beautiful girl in the world, Melvin Woods. We can still stop this from happening. You just need to wake up, Melvin. <laughs> York, you really are a second-rate man. You're incapable of understanding how other folks feel. Lena was the one I loved. Candy's merely the symbol we use to restore the Clarkson's glory. The goddess of fertility is just an idol designed to guide our people down the proper path. I devoted everything I had to Lena. Hey, Patricia! Ah. I was obsessed with Lena ever since I was a kid. She lived in a big mansion and also had skin as white as snow. All I ever wanted was to be just like her. My friends were too close-minded to understand. Don't let the white man brainwash you, they said. But race was never a part of it for me. She was always far above that shit. A higher being who surpassed it all. And by the time I grew up, she already changed forms and abandoned her home. At first, I was so shocked. It felt like my dreams had been shattered before I ever got a chance to pursue them. But when I finally got a chance to meet her face to face, everything changed. I loved her female form with all my heart. The moment I saw her again, she completely possessed my soul. Hey, York. You know how they say God created man in his own image? That's what Lena is. She's God's finest creation. The perfection of the human race. She wasn't perfect in any way, Melvin. She was just another criminal who happened to be a bit smarter than most. <laughs> you never understand. Anywho. I decided to follow her plan. And so I became the one who supported her from the shadows, working to fulfill her dream of restoring the Clarkson's glory. That's why I seduced Candy, married her, and kept giving her Saint Rouge whenever Lena told me to. Then, you know what happened? About one year ago, we finally saw a sign. A sign of the birth of the goddess of fertility. You mean she started growing horribly obese? Eight years. It felt long, but also short somehow. I knew from the start that much blood would be spilled. But I had no other choice. It was the only way for me to make my beloved angel need me. So you murdered Galena, too? Yeah. That didn't exactly go according to plan. Galena was supposed to kill Lise. And Lena was supposed to take Patricia's life. Then Lena and Galena were supposed to kill PJ and end their own lives. Filicide, patricide, and suicide. These three types of sacrifice were gonna complete the blood purge. But then you came to town. You're such a pest, York. I loathe every fabric of your being. Always buzzing around us like a gnat, trying to upset our faith, but no more. I'm going to stop you right here, sacrifice my daughter, and complete Lena's plan once and for all. There may have been some hiccups in the plan, but the result won't change. 
After all, I'm her daddy. In the end, the goddess of fertility and her king will be the only ones left. We'll find a way to make do on our own. Hey, yo, haven't you been wondering why I'm talking so much about myself? Because this is the last stage of the game? And nope, I've just been waiting for this. The bug. Soon, she'll be reborn. And the goddess of fertility will be among us. It all ends here! Patty, are you all right? Stop, goddammit! Get away from her! Daddy! Mama! Get out of the way! But the goddess! Let us play as... Daddy! <laughs> no! Damn it! I was supposed to be the king! The... To stop the fire! Shit! Damn it! Patricia? If Mama and I die, it'll all end, right? I know about the real you. I know that my blood's cursed. So I'm just gonna die. I'm gonna die here with Mama, so it'll all stop. Just please, please run, Daddy. You're a good man, aren't you? I... I... Daddy, you saved me. Patty. Zack, I need you. Give me strength. You kept saying you were gonna kill me. You should have let it happen. Just leave me here and run away with Mama. Don't save me. Just go with Mama. <laughs> Do it! 
Are you all right? Agent York, save my daddy! Get out of here! Y'all, take my CLG! And run! No! I can't leave both of you here! Just go! No! I'm not leaving! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> I... sinned. I can't come back to this world. We have to say goodbye here. I'll take your mama with me. It's time for you to start a new life, sweetie. One where you won't be shackled to your destiny. York. I've confessed my sins. I'm gonna die here. I know this isn't how you wanted things to go down. But she's innocent. My CLG is pure. Please. Just take her and get out of here. No! No! I'm staying with you! My daughter's in your hands now, York. Let's go, Patty. No! Let me go! Daddy! Mama! No! <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, CLG. Been a horrible father. Even before we ever met, I was always heading down the wrong path. <laughs> but I finally understand it now. I love my family from the bottom of my heart. Both you and your mama. Me too. Love you with all my heart, Daddy. I I'm sorry, Candy. such a failure. I screwed it all up again. Your whole plan's been ruined. I'm sorry. Right up to the end. I, I could never do anything right. Oh. Really? So, it's all okay? Oh, good. Well, just hold on then. Candy and I will be Right there. The worst father. Graced with the sweetest daughter. Life can be a bitch sometimes. <laughs> but it wasn't all bad. Now, I realize that at the very 
again. Sorry. But... She washed all that away. Every last trace. So, this is a very good thing. 